Hi, my name is Jackie Plant, Food Director for Women's Day, and today we're going to make a hummus, but we're going to use edamame, soybeans, instead of chickpeas. It's great. What we want to do is take two cups of edamame, which are basically soybeans, and you want to put them in the microwave for about three minutes, keep them covered so they get nice and steamed and hot. And while they're hot, you put them in your food processor like that. And the reason why you want them to be hot or warm is because you're going to put raw garlic, just one garlic, in. And when you puree them with the heat of the edamame, it kind of takes the rawness of the garlic out, which is important because it doesn't taste good. So here we go. Look at that. Woo, that was quick. So that's somewhat pureed, that's fine. Um, and then what we're going to do, we're gonna add some tahini, which is ground sesame seeds. One third cup is what we put in this. So we're gonna put that in to the mix. Uh, we're going to add three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. The lemon just makes it nice and bright, wonderful flavor. A half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of cumin. And the cumin is, it's not as though you even taste it, it's just this little bit of wonderful flavoring. Uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, and then six tablespoons of water, but I'm actually gonna put this on. I'm gonna get this started, and then add the water to it as it starts to blend together. So let's turn it on. And then this will come together very quickly. And then while it's running, I'm slowly adding my water. There we go. And then just give it another few seconds. Turn it off, take it off. Okay, so once you've made your hummus, the edamame hummus, you want to put it in a dish, and it's really nice if you take some olive oil and just drizzle the top. It's a great way to garnish it. And then of course you want to serve it along some pitas and a bunch of cut up vegetables, colorful vegetables, edamame, it's great for a party, it's great to nibble on, enjoy. Hey, I'm Jackie Plant, and you've been watching Kitchen Bites.